What's the matter? Well, I was trying on Sabita's lovely ring and then it got stuck. Oh, it's very pretty. My fingers must be much bigger than hers because now I can't get it off at all. And the more we try to get it off, the worse it seemed to get. Oh, well, um, let's see. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's try this. It's going to be a bit cold on your finger, Yoli. That's okay. I'm just scared that it won't come off. What are you doing, Chef Jeff? Well, do you know why it got harder and harder to get the ring off? Yoli's fingers seem to be getting bigger and bigger. That's impossible, Harry. No, well, actually, Harry's right. How come? Just hold that over there. Well, what happened was, as you pulled and pulled at the ring, all that work was making Yoli's finger warmer. And because it got warm, the blood vessels in her finger, the little veins that carry the blood, opened up a little bit and more blood came into the area. You were making the blood rush in, and because of that, the blood vessels became swollen. And that's why Yoli's finger swelled up until it became impossible to get the ring off. Wow, I didn't know that. But what are you going to do with the ice? I get it. You're making the blood vessels cold and making the swelling go down. Exactly. When the finger gets colder, the blood vessels automatically contract and all that extra blood goes away, bringing the swelling down. Let's see if it worked, Jolly. Ah, okay. Nice, huh? Thank you, Chef Jeff. <laughs> That's amazing. That's a really cool trick. Well, actually, it's not a trick. It's science. Things often contract and get smaller when they're cold. <laughs> what, what? How can that be? Huh? Things get smaller when they get cold. So what happens when it's winter and I'm sitting on this tree? Does that mean that I get smaller? And if it gets colder, do I get smaller still? What, what? Will I disappear completely? Oh dear, hope not. <laughs> what other things do that? Well, for example, some kitchens have tin roofs, and when the sun beats down on them, they get hot so they expand. Then at night, when there is no sun and it's much cooler, the roofs cool down and go back to the way they were when they started. They sometimes make like a creaking noise when they do this. I've heard might of doing that. If the roof expands, isn't it in danger of falling off? <laughs> no, it doesn't expand that much. Expansion and contraction can sometimes be very useful. Uh, for example, have a look at this jar of peanut butter. Can anyone open the lid? I'll try. Ew, that's impossible. Let me try. <laughs> oh, gee. Come on, Yoli, it can't be bad. Sabeda? <laughs> if they can't open it and they're stronger than me, then I'll never be able to open it. Well, actually, you can. Watch me take this lid off. It's the same expansion theory. When Sabeda put the lid in hot water, the lid, which is metal, the metal expanded. And before it cooled, while the metal was still warm and therefore expanded, Sabeda opened the lid. Huh, that's a great idea. Hmm. Some matter and materials expand when they get hot and contract when they get cold. 
Most solids uh, change their size depending on how hot or cold it is. So heat can change things? Yes. Solid things can change when heat energy is added or taken away. So if solid things can change size, why don't buildings fall down or bridges collapse? Well, that's a very good question, Harry. You see, builders and engineers know about the power of heat energy. And when they build things, they allow for it. Let's have a look at this. Change solid objects, but what about the things that aren't solid, like liquid? Well, liquid, it can also expand when it gets hot. Let's look at this big thermometer. Does anyone know what a thermometer does? It measures how hot or cold something is. Good, yes it does. Now you see the liquid in this bulb is colored alcohol. What happens to this bulb is when it is, for example, warmed, then the liquid expands. You see this bulb is quite big and the tube is much narrower. So as the liquid expands, it is forced up the tube. How far up the tube it goes depends on how hot the liquid is. So at the moment, it's not that warm. Well, if I look at the thermometer, it says it's 21 degrees. That means the air around us is that warm. Now, if I put some more hot water into this bowl, tra -ta -ta, and then I put the thermometer into the bowl, what happens? The colored alcohol is going up. Yeah. So the temperature of the water is... 40... It's still going up. Yeah, it keeps going up. Um, 44 degrees. And it's the same with gas. Okay, let's try a little experiment. Um, oh, where did I leave those balloons that were left over from the party? Um, well, I, I thought I saw them under the counter. Oh, yes, <laughs> you're right. Here we go. Now, the both of you, Harry, you blow up one balloon, and Jolly, you blow up another. <laughs> Harry, try and blow yours up so that it's the same size as Yoli. There you go. Keep blowing. So what are they putting inside these balloons? Anyone? Air. Well, when Harry and Yoli are blowing into the balloons, what are they putting in the balloons? Gases. Yes. They're putting gas inside this balloon. Now, have you tied them up? Let's tie them up quick. There is gas in the balloon. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these balloons, thanks, Harry, inside the freezer, and we're going to leave the other one on the counter. But we're going to have to wait a few minutes to see what happens, all right? There we go. Yeah, but Marvin. Hey, you know, last night, someone was knocking on the door. It was a bit scary. It was so late, I didn't get up because I was a bit frightened. Yeah? Mm. I didn't hear anyone knocking on the door. Yes, they knocked now and then for an hour. Mm, mm, mm. Someone stood outside and knocked on the door every now and then for an hour. Yes. Hey, Marvin, that doesn't make much sense. Are you sure it wasn't the wind knocking a branch against the door? No, no, no. Mm -mm, mm. Definitely not. I checked and there was no wind. No mm. wind. Mm. 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 <gasps> I know. Mm -hmm. It was the metal door contracting. Come again? The door is made of metal and it was contracting. And because it was getting smaller, the metal was making a noise. Hey, Marvin! What are you talking about? The door was getting smaller? No. Oh, it got bigger during the day when it was hot. Mm -hmm. And then it got smaller at night when it was cold. Hey. Marvin, you are telling me that the door gets bigger and smaller? Yep. Hey. Sure. You know, I think... I think uh, this poor old Mervyn is losing it. He's dreaming the door is getting smaller and bigger. I think you should lie down. Yeah. I think you should lie down, my friend. Hmm? I think you should lie down now. Lie down Let's now. Next. Okay. OK, 
Okay, Chef Jeff, so we've been waiting for a few minutes. Let's take a look at the balloons in the freezer. Okay, but first let's look at this one on the counter. Has it changed? No, it's exactly the same as it was. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Da -da -da -da. Whoa! Mm. It's much smaller than this one. Yes. Do you have any idea why the one that was in the freezer is smaller? Is it because the gas in the balloon in the freezer got really cold that it shrunk? Yes, but it didn't shrink. It just contracted. That's amazing. Yes, science is amazing stuff. When it gets hot, you can see things like fun. And then they get big. Solid things and all gases and liquid expand when it's hot. That's true. But when it's cold, it's a different case. Then things contract and take up less space. Expand when you hot. Contract when you cold. The energy from heat is ever What? What? Now I see. Get smaller when they are cold, but it's not that much. And things get bigger when they are hot. Sometimes I can hear my tree groaning, and I used to think it was because of me, but now I know it's because of heat energy. What? What? Can you think of other things that heat energy makes expand or contract? <laughs> See you next time. Bye. When it gets hot, you can see things as fun And then they get big and ever so grand You might think we hippos must always be hot But in fact, we happy hippos are really just fans Heat and energy changes solid things and all gases And liquid expand when it's hot, that's true But when it's cold, it's a different case Then things contract and take up less space Expand when you're hot